Talk about getting out there and how it felt. Um, it felt good. You know, um, just came in there and um, try to keep the offense going, try to execute, make the best plays I can. Uh, my offensive guys in great field position. What do you expect to happen in next week? That kind of thing. Um, I don't know. You know, we have a bye week, so um, I don't know. I don't know what the future holds, but as I always say, I know it holds my future. My Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Did you know Aaron? Prior to today, that you were going to play for sure? Or? Um, no, actually, I didn't. Um, I just stayed prepared like every week and um, just stay prepared, you know, just like I always do. And then when my time has come, I'll be ready. Who, who told you you were going in? Um, uh, Coach Pete. What did you see from this team today? I mean, a lot of people have been writing this team off, and you guys put out a pretty good effort. Yeah, you can tell we don't fight, we fight, you know, we don't give up. That no matter what the outcome is, no matter if it seems like the game is over, we continue to fight. And that's what we've been doing these um, last few weeks, actually, just fighting. And um, we finished off, you know, unfortunately, you know, with the pick, but um, you can tell we just finished. It. You have some nerves uh, out there. Kind of, it's a tough environment to get that first game action of the season. Uh, how, how are you feeling, like butterflies wise? Um, it wasn't no butterflies. Actually, it was just I was more tired than anything. <laughs> tired. <laughs> I think I need to get on the treadmill a little bit more. <laughs> to kind of get, get some stuff going with the offense there in the fourth quarter once you came in. It was good, you know, getting a rhythm. I feel like um, with any dual threat, is getting them in a rhythm from um, running the ball, then getting them comfortable. And um, offensive guys just helping me out. Um, you know, we were just in great field position. We just kept it going and just like any other day. What's it been like this season for you? Did you just kind of expect, okay, I'm going to have a red shirt this season? Or in your mind, just got to bide my time and see what happens? How did you? Approach all this. Uh, I just took my time. I felt like you know I wasn't going to wear a shirt. I felt like it's going to come, and I felt like my time is here now. Just um, continue doing what I have to do. Just continue to stay prepared, and just continue to work hard each week, and continue um, just doing what I have to do to be the best I can. Was it ever frustrating, or ever kind of losing your patience at all? Uh, I mean, sometimes you know, as an athlete standpoint, you know, you want to play, and you see some things that you can do. Waiting and just um, the best I can. Where do you where do you feel like your is at in terms of your ability to throw the ball? I mean, do you feel like you're to the point where Big Ten teams are going to, have to respect uh, your ability to pass right now? Still kind of run uh, with you in the game. Where, where you pass right now? I feel very comfortable passing lines. I feel um, down the road, of course, that you know they don't have to start pass and respecting the run, and, uh, and that's going to make it a little difficult. I feel for the defense wise, but I'm not looking for you know just to try to just trick the defense. Just go out there and do what I have to do for the play call. What do you expect from this team overall as you guys finish this, you know, second half, so to speak, of the season? Uh, just continue to fight, you know, no matter what. Just continue to fight, get better, do what we have to do, and um, put ourselves in good situations to win games.